Sunday morning. It's time for Water World. It is uh, it's what, eight o'clock. Oh, no, no. Nine o'clock. I get a proxy this afternoon. I have my fan. I know what you're gonna say. Why you still play fantasy football? But every year. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. You know when you go to a club and you're drunk and you're dancing with a girl. Like yo, this girl's fine, man. I'll go home. Me and her gonna go home and listen to some Jada Kiss. It's gonna be fire. And then they turn the lights on when you stay to the club so long. Whoa, that is not what I thought she looked like. And then you just go home. You don't ever tell anybody about it. Yeah. That's the way you should treat fantasy football. <laughs> It's oh unbelievable. He's holding the From now on, just pull it off. Excuse me, sir. Uh, what the fuck is that, sir? And all you see across the screen is the Y. Excuse me, sir. I need to ask you a question. Security checkpoint here. I'll probably get pulled aside for a cavity search. This happens a lot. You smoke me a raft? Yeah. No outside rafts. Yeah, I'm that right away. Oh, sorry. Oh, you're getting like a... Oh, uh, no fun. Yeah. It's a gondola. So, uh, we are here walking through and it's still very quiet right now this morning. Be a crazy one today? Uh, it might be. It usually is on Sundays, but it's hard to tell with the weather. It's Labor Day weekend though. I've never been here. I'm excited. Hey, I want a pina colada and a funnel cake. Bring it to the cabana. The uh, cabana boy. Like Never met a real cabana boy. This is amazing. <laughs> been good so far. The first family one we took was amazing. Hold on. Randy fucking blindfolded me with her hands at one point. I wasn't oh, pleased she? about yeah. that. Yeah. All right, we're trying to eat more weed. Where are the robots? We're still waiting on the, the food. I'm working on it. What about the barbecue sauce? It will be on your table next time I run up. But we've been waiting. We're paying all this money to ride these rides, and now we're just uh, waiting around here. Around. Sure. You're the, driving me fucking bananas. Yeah, he's driving me cook, 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 cook bananas. Yeah. What happened? Well, a lot of things happened. At our food stand, they ran out of pizza box. But of course, of course, the rest of the cabanas wanted pizza. Oh. Best way to fix a problem is to do it yourself. So I run all the way across the park, get pizza box, fix their problem. Oh. Before I left, I was said that they would have your guys' stuff ready in three minutes. So by the time I got back, they would have had it. But you know, again, nice. yeah. I don't think you're gonna do it. I think I'm gonna do it. I feel like uh, my whole body's burnt. to fly. Very stoned. It's about 4.30. Kid and his train noise is a little old now. We got it. That's how we shut it down here. Season four. B? 
coming for you. This is my Fuck that uh, big. Oh. Wu Tang. It's a Wu Tang killer big. Fucking old dirty. I'm tired. I'm high. I don't want to vlog anymore. The day is over. Gonna continue and eat food and sleep. Got enough stuff from Amazon today? Mm -hmm. No. Need your unboxing channel. Right, I'll be Omar. Back. Be back. Bye. Morning. It's Labor Day. Board Day. Monday. It's the day after uh, Waterworld. Sore. Which I don't think has ever happened before. Which means I'm just old. Turns on the way over here. The GoPro yesterday. Which I don't even know where the fuck that is. But the GoPro uh, took a L yesterday. It's kind of my, it's my fault for sure. Yes, the new GoPro is water, but no, it's not if you don't have the door on it. And I didn't put the door on it. And Ern even asked, waterproof without a case? And I said, yes. And then so like after a couple of rides, um, the GoPro didn't work anymore. So there's that. What else? has happened. I have three pairs of Pharrell's that are lost in the mail. I have no idea where they are. Tracking says nothing. Perfect teaching moment. Because a lot of times when I send packages, not a lot of times, every so often, when a package gets lost, you kind of have to wait for it to be found or file a claim or whatever. Kind of in this like weird spot. I can't move with it. Pay for another three pairs and get those. I still have to wait for the $750 to come, come back from a claim. So it's going to take months probably before I get that money. A lot of people are trying to sell me their Pharrell's for retail. I don't want two pairs. It's really just like the long drawn out L of wait for the shoe, wait for the shoe. Okay, now it's lost. Okay, now wait for a return, wait for a return. By the time you get that, it's all gone. Thank God for places like StockX because that's where they're going to come. That's it. There's nothing else on the way. I've been patiently waiting since Friday to open this. We didn't vlog Friday because we were just all over the place crazy. Other than that, I've been just uh, drawing. I got some new stuff working on. Working on things. Really just trying to clean up this one drawing. I got to clean up this other one. Um, that's what I got going on today. And then we got, um, Omar in the cut. Omar got accidentally trapped downstairs yesterday. I think that's pretty much a good update for the morning. Just woke up. Welcome to the show. Come on. You ripped my jeans. Come on. I straight up ripped them. Straight up ripped them. They said there was only a 12 and a half, by the way. Yeah, these are sick. So, a little rust peach hole punch, really. Nice. Finally, a cog. What's up with you? Your, your face is all red. I don't know. I was in the sun all day yesterday. Oh. But it's cool. You don't even care what it is, do you? No. Cool. Enjoy your car. Yo. What up? Chill it. How red are you? I'm not that red. Oh, you're really not. Yeah. You looked redder yesterday. There's no way. I'm telling you, I do what it. What the fuck? I'm How Italian. Hey, I'm Italian. I'm 30%. I don't know if I can talk about it in front of Teddy because I don't want him to know. I don't, oh. I, I don't, I, I don't care. It's, it's not that I don't want to know. It's quite a soul, soul wear off. I'm taking it to my mechanic tomorrow and if it checks out, I'm gonna get it. Nice. She's like this little old lady. She's got little glasses and her little hair all curled. And she's, like, oh, she's a scammer, is what it sounds like. She's a scam. Old people take care of cars, I guess. That's the, oh, sc yeah, that's the scam. Oh, we're too trusting. Are you sore today? Yeah. Look at that back. Yeah. Lifting shit. I like that. Was asking what, 17 for it? Ooh. I know, I was like, it also needs a $500 head gasket replacement. And she's like, if she's like, since I'm not replacing that, I'm immediately gonna take $500 off. Like, and after driving, I was like, well, I'll tell you what. I was like, do you know the head gasket's the entire car, right? That's the entire engine. Oh, no, not the head gasket. No, it's not, it's not that. It's something else. It's not the head gasket. I'm over here losing else. my fucking mind. I'm like, no, 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 you no, are no. Not it's like, I forget what it is. But okay, well, if it's the head it's gasket, it's not the head gasket. It's, it's not something on else. the fucking table. It's why I'm getting it checked tomorrow first. I'm anyway. just letting you know. But I told her, I was like, I, if the car checks out, I'll give you a thousand. I was like, if that's the only repairs it needs, you know, because yeah. she just got a timing belt on it, like, yeah. Like last year. And any time that the car breaks down, you're going to get her. I'm not, I'm usually not dealing with the situation. It won't, I, I'm sure it'll be all right. Why do you have to have such negative vibes on this? You just said head gasket and my fucking heart just dropped. It's like your little portraits, your home and garden profile right here. Oh. Ernest Falconer moved into this muddy backyard apartment in 1997. There he grew a garden. Shit. From that garden sprouted nothing. American urn. American. American. <laughs> I'm American. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take another dab. Yeah. Then it's scum time.
Which is a whole other story. Like, fuck, please don't hit her in the face. Oh my gosh. Omar. Yeah, the garage is pretty crazy, but. I'm working on it. Good to work, keep you back in good health. Guys, I'm going to fly. No more fucking breaks. No more days off, all right? We had your vacations. This is where the vlog ends. Got a vacuum? Shit. Why is the vlog ending? For now, just for this moment. Like, this is where I'm turning the camera off. I'm vlogging, twitching, and then vlogging. I could. Do you want me to? I don't want you to vlog us twitching and then Twitch is vlogging. No. You vlog us twitching and then you Twitch is vlogging and then we're twitching while we're vlogging. What happens if our vlog has no Twitch? Oh shit, I can't even think of all this. <sighs> okay. Today is winding down. I finished up a bunch of drawings trying to work out Detroit stuff. Pop up. I don't really want to announce yet in case I don't work it out, but most likely towards the end of the week, I'm getting back to everybody about tattoos. So if you want to get tattooed, Teddy, tattoo me at gmail.com. Uh, hit me up so I can book everything and schedule schedule everything and nobody gets lost in the mix. But uh, a lot of you've reached out. I think I've gotten back to everybody at this point. So this weekend was crazy, fun, relaxing somewhat. I'm pretty sore today. Food was, man, this uh, relationship is affecting the food intake, which is no one's fault. It's really hard to eat well at a water park. Today is chill. I'm gonna eat a salad here in a minute and throw the kettlebells in the backyard because the weather is actually perfect. Uh, we did get shoes in that are worth talking about. I won't say nothing of interest. Well, there really hasn't been much of interest. It's just been kind of like more of the same. BYW kind of just went wherever. They didn't really do anything new with it. They just sort of released more colorway. Ways. 4D is being dangled around like, I don't know, I just feel like 4D, there was really no point in like driving it so hard as this new tech when they can't make it over a size 11. Ultra Boost, for the most part, colorways were just kind of like, meh. I like some of those 4.0 colorways, but they, they didn't really do much with it really anyway. It's like with 3.0, they were like, jeez, y'all flooded the mark. 4.0, they didn't really give us that many Ultra Boost, honestly. I don't, also there's not that much interest. Collabs this year were a little different, a little weird, some of them. Box never changed. It's always been the same consortium box, which some people are say typing consortium and say it either way. But the last consortium box, or the first one, whatever, was a lot nicer. Then it kind of just went to this plain white box, like the Pharrell box. Now we're to this box, which is also white, but it has sort of a debossed consortium logo. Front also is consortium. That's the tag for the shoe. But these are the A Kind of Guy Ultra Boost that dropped. A Kind of Guys is from Munich, Germany. This is also really cool about the box. The respect is mutual. The same saying in different languages. And then consortium paper with the handshake on it, which is fairly new. Uh, my friend Flores said that the Juice NMD came like this, but I didn't buy the Juice NMD because I don't like it, so I haven't seen this box. Um, a kind of guy's Munich, Germany. There is another high quality garment brand. I don't fuck with them. I, I mean, I fuck with them. They're fine. I don't not fuck with them. I'm not like, yo, I don't fuck with you, but I'm not going to pretend like, oh yeah, kind of guy's dog. I've been down. I don't really know much about them other than that they make high quality garments. And apparently they also have a fictional, a fictional high performance hideaway, which is directly directly from the ACOG Athletic Club, which I, I, I respect it. You know what I'm saying? I respect a fictional club motif. I fuck with that. And that's basically what's gonna bring us into the shoe. It looks like this. This is the tan colorway. Uh, there is another colorway that is blue. It's super limited, 200 pairs. I haven't even seen my size, 13. I believe there was a 12 and a half on StockX. It either sold, got taken down. I was asking like $4,000. Then one sold for like 2,300. Then I saw one up there for like 1,200. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know. But regardless, there's 200 pairs of the blue one. There's certainly more pairs of this one, which is the regular release. This released in all consortium stores, but I think sold out fairly instantly. Uh, they're a more popular model for some reason. Um, I mean, I guess I can tell why. Like this, this looks like it has more care put into it. At first I was kind of knocking people because the waves, the raised knitting in the shoe was something that people highly criticized on XR1s and NMDs. Uh, someone brought up that the pattern is not the same, which I agree with. There's some that are very similar, but it's not the same. But people did highly criticize that. So I thought people weren't really gonna be into this model, but they were consortium you usually still sells out. There's a couple of months where it was a little shaky last year, but this, uh, I think pretty much went, but it also kind of reminds me of the older ultra boost that we got like the soul box. Some of the first collabs, a kind of guys or Adidas, whoever is more in charge, really put some thought and effort into this shoe. Cause when you look at it, it sort of just looks like tan shoe with no thought and effort. And that's not really the case. First off, there are some premium materials like suede tongue, suede tongue and heel box. You have this NMD tab that I thought at first says, yes, we've done 
done this before. No worries, we've done this before, I believe is the saying. ACOG Hotel Group, I assume just goes with their entire little fantasy hideaway, which this shoe represents the entire hideaway. The yellow terrazzo continental sole is a new thing. Terrazzo just kind of means like marbled, you know, like the floors and the bank and shit. That represents the lemon groves on this Mediterranean beach upper. And these ripples in your Mediterranean beach are the ripples that you would see when you lay down your towel on the sand or the sand itself. That's the story. I like story. Even if they're made up, even if they're bullshit, just give me a fucking story. Consortium hole punch, one of my favorite things everyone kind of knows. I don't know why this is not focusing on the shoe. And then the lacing system is new in this. You have the four and different shoes, but I don't think there's an ultra boost quite like this where it has sort of an undercarriage lacing. It's almost invisible. The laces themselves sort of make the three stripe. It comes with two different laces, black and white. And boost, of course, this material that will never die. I really like the offset black, really like the offset black torsion bubble. What? We never even have a name for this. I mean, I know it's part of the torsion plate, but it's almost like an air bubble. It's like a cosmetic air bubble. It's like an air bubble coffin. Yeah, so I really like the black air bubble coffin. Boost, as I said. Continental sole, as I said. Really interesting about this is the insole that's not really supposed to come out. I'm gonna pull it out for because I love you guys. Uh, it's ortholite, which is different for an ultra boost. I don't have any ultra boosts that have an ortholite sole, so that's a whole brand new thing. Sort of this like weird, comfy, like terry shit. I don't know. It's fire. It's like a towel it's like a beach towel almost. almost don't don't like totally take beach towel to heart but kind of beach towel ish and then the heel itself is suede kind of gives you an extra panel and a sort of an arc so it's got like a little bit of a platform to it it's really weird it's different which makes the shoe fit true to size for sure as in i can't wear a 12 and a half in this shoe and if i do i'm gonna have to take out the insole because that insole definitely adds a little this knit's pretty stretchy you know this is a point no we got no points on this this is a one-off of the point system so you can't can't point out this at all. PK is just wild and crazy with crazy stitching. Heel turns into almost like a canvas, which is crazy. And then the rest is just suede well, and leather. Um, these are fire. These are gonna get dirty really quick. Super hyped to gotten these. Shout out to Packer. These are technically an uncaged ultra boost, which is super sick. It doesn't even have like an inner reinforcement really. Almost reminds me of a military pant on the inside. It just has this really slight inner stitching that is the reinforcement. They're super comfy. It's like any ultra boost. Upper slightly different, but uh, I'd say true to size for sure. Yeah, shoe sick, super glad to have gotten them. Blue ones come across my radar. I'll definitely cop uh, for a legitimately not stupid price, but we'll see about that. But it's cool. This is basically a water-based vlog. We went to Waterworld. This is the beach version, Lemon Grove Mediterranean Beach, even though it doesn't exist. Well, admit that may exist, but they, they don't own it. But uh, you know what I'm saying. That's the kind of guys ultra boost. That's the shoe. Been a while for that. Love you guys.